Welcome to another episode of Yo Ass Hungry Now, and today we're making chili oil. Not your average chili oil, what are we making? It's not gonna be a, necessarily a traditional chili oil for like your dumplings and stuff, but you can definitely use it for that. It's gonna more have a little more heat to it, a little more depth and flavor. It's a little bit different than the traditional. We gotta do it our way, like always. Yummy. Let's get into the recipe. So for the base of our chili oil, it's all about the spices. Getting all our spices toasted off in a pan is gonna bring the flavor to the next level. I'm gonna start with three tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorn, one teaspoon coriander, two star anise, small cinnamon stick, eight pieces of green cardamom, tablespoon black peppercorn, four dried chilies, add four whole cloves, and four pieces of bay leaf. We're just gonna to toast this up till it becomes nice and fragrant. All of our spices are toasted. We're gonna to take it off the heat, set it to the side, and begin to finish our oil. I have a small pot here. I'm gonna put 500 milliliters of a neutral oil into it. Right now we're just using a little canola. So to our oil, I'm gonna add about two inches of fresh ginger, one bunch of fresh scallion cut into about one inch pieces. Then we got 10 cloves of garlic. So we have our heat on medium low, and we're just gonna keep this oil at about 200 degrees for about an hour to really infuse all that flavor. Just give it a nice stir. All the vegetables are gonna get nice and dark, but not burn. That's the goal. I got my pan on medium heat. To that, I'm gonna add half a cup of dried chilies. We're gonna toast them off so they get little brown blistered spots on them. Our chilies are nice and blistered. We're gonna throw them in our blender, blitz them up, and make a nice chili powder to give us a nice heat in the chili oil. Chili powder. Now it's almost time to bring it all together. Next up, we're gonna to toast some sesame seeds. Our scallions begin to change color. Same with the garlic, becoming nice and fragrant in here. Next up, we added all of our toasted spices. We're just gonna let this hang out in this pot for another 20 minutes on a, a low heat so all the flavors really infuse into that oil. Here we have a medium sized bowl. We're gonna add in our uh, toasted uh, chilies here. Today we use our bowl. We've got about three and a half tablespoons. To that we're gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of passion, if you watch our videos, you know what that is. Two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, and one tablespoon of black vinegar. Get a little stir. We're gonna place our chinua over top of our bowl. Now it's time to add in our infused oil. This smells incredible. Now using the back of our spoon, we're just gonna squeeze in all that flavor and the remaining aromatics. Smells really good. Oh yeah, yeah, that's where you get the flavor. <laughs> just pressing on that ginger, just releasing more of that essence into it. This is gonna be incredible. So we're just gonna stir in that uh, beautiful hot essence in there. We're just gonna let this sit till it's cool, jar it up, and this flavor is gonna amplify in the next days to come. Chili oil, fresh made, super simple, delicious flavors. Put this on anything. Breakfast, you know? Cheers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Put it on your eggs. It smells amazing. Put it on your rice. Jeez, man. Honestly, I would, I would put this on my steak, on top of my hot pot. Hot pot? <laughs> hot pot broth. That was a mouthful oh, yeah. there. And the ramen. Yeah. It's gonna be delicious. Great condiment for anything. To leave for a little kick, a little flavor. To brighten up your boring meals. You got it, man. Here uh -huh. we go. Wait, crack this open a couple days. Delicious. Thanks for watching. See you next Saturday. Peace.